A change in our eating habits is an inevitable part of aging. But when aging coincides with a chronic disease like diabetes, it becomes all the more critical to be watchful of what we consume. It's a fact we all have to acknowledge. Certain foods can exacerbate the symptoms of diabetes or escalate the risk of its related complications. Today, we are going to delve into the subject of the top 10 foods that people over the age of 50 with diabetes should avoid. Our list is curated, not to scare you, but to empower you with knowledge, so you can make informed decisions about your diet. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. Let's start with the first item on our list, sugary drinks. These include not just the obvious culprits like sodas and energy drinks, but also fruit juices that are high in sugar. A 2015 study published in the British Medical Journal found that regular consumption of sugary drinks was associated with a higher risk of type 2 diabetes. Sugary beverages are loaded with carbohydrates, which can cause blood sugar spikes. Additionally, they contribute to weight gain, a risk factor for worsening diabetes. Closely following sugary drinks is our second food category, processed meats. A 2013 research study published in the journal Diabetes Care found a link between processed meats and type 2 diabetes. The researchers concluded that each daily serving of processed meats, such as hot dogs, bacon, and deli meats, increased the risk of developing diabetes by 51%. Processed meats often contain high levels of sodium and preservatives, both of which can pose health risks for individuals with diabetes. Third on our list is white bread. White bread, along with other highly processed grains like white rice and pasta, can have a high glycemic index, which means they can spike your blood sugar levels. A 2010 study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that women who ate more whole grains were less likely to develop diabetes than those who consumed highly processed carbohydrates. So, opt for whole grain options, which are richer in fiber and can help control blood sugar levels. Now coming to the fourth item on our list, it's packaged and fast food. It's a no-brainer that these foods are high in fats, salts, and sugars. But what's worse, is they are often low in nutrients and high in calories. A 2012 study in the journal Public Health Nutrition found that people who ate fast food two or more times a week had an increased risk of diabetes and heart disease. These foods can also contribute to weight gain, further worsening diabetes control. Our fifth item might surprise you. It's trans fats. While many of us are aware of the dangers of saturated fats, trans fats can be just as bad, if not worse. They're found in foods like margarine, peanut butter, spreads, and frozen dinners. A 2006 research article in the New England Journal of Medicine reported that the intake of trans fats was associated with an increased risk of coronary heart disease. This can be particularly worrisome for diabetics who already have an increased risk of heart disease. Halfway through our list, we have the sixth item, full-fat dairy. While dairy can be a good source of calcium and vitamin D, full-fat dairy products can be high in saturated fats, which can raise your bad cholesterol levels. A 2013 study published in the Journal of Nutrition discovered that higher dairy fat intake was associated with a greater risk of type 2 diabetes. Therefore, it's better to choose low-fat or non-fat dairy options whenever possible. The seventh on our list is the high fructose corn syrup, found commonly in candies, ice cream, and other sweet treats. This sweetener has been linked with obesity, and according to a 2020 study published in the journal Metabolism, it may also be associated with insulin resistance, a central characteristic of type 2 diabetes. Next up, at number 8, we have fried foods. They are high in unhealthy fats, contribute to inflammation, and are often high in calories. According to a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2014, frequent fried food consumption might be associated with an increased risk of type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease, primarily among women. Ninth on our list is alcohol. While moderate amounts of alcohol may not have significant effects on blood sugar levels, excessive consumption can lead to high blood sugar levels and increased blood pressure, a risk factor for heart disease. A 2012 study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association found that moderate alcohol consumption increased the risk of type 2 diabetes in women. Finally, we have arrived at the number one food item to avoid if you are over 50 and living with diabetes. You might not expect it, but it's actually sugary cereals. 
It's a common practice to start the day with a bowl of cereal. However, many popular cereals are high in carbohydrates and low in fiber, causing a sudden spike in blood sugar levels. A 2013 study published in PLOS One found that breakfast high in fiber, but low in carbohydrates, like a cereal based on oat bran, caused a lower glucose response compared to a breakfast high in carbohydrates and low in fiber, like cornflakes. As you age, managing diabetes becomes increasingly important. A balanced and nutritious diet plays a vital role in controlling blood sugar levels and maintaining overall health. Here are some of the best foods to consider incorporating into your diet after the age of 50 if you have diabetes. Non-starchy vegetables. Load up on vegetables like leafy greens, broccoli, cauliflower, zucchini, peppers, and tomatoes. They are low in carbohydrates and calories but rich in vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Whole grains. Opt for whole grains like quinoa, brown rice, whole wheat, oats, and barley instead of refined grains. Whole grains contain more fiber, which can help stabilize blood sugar levels. Lean proteins. Choose lean sources of protein such as skinless poultry, fish, tofu, legumes, and low-fat dairy products. Protein can help regulate blood sugar and keep you feeling full. Healthy fats. Include sources of healthy fats like avocados, nuts, seeds, and olive oil in your diet. These fats can improve heart health and help with better blood sugar management. Fatty fish. Fatty fish such as salmon, mackerel, sardines, and trout are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which have been associated with improved insulin sensitivity and heart health. Low-fat dairy. If you consume dairy, choose low-fat or non-fat options to reduce saturated fat intake while still getting essential nutrients like calcium and vitamin D. Fruits. Select whole fruits rather than fruit juices or sugary snacks. Berries, cherries, apples, and citrus fruits are good choices as they have a lower glycemic index. Nuts and seeds. Snack on unsalted nuts and seeds like almonds, walnuts, chia seeds, and flax seeds. They provide healthy fats, fiber, and some protein. Beans and legumes. Beans, lentils, and chickpeas are excellent sources of plant-based protein and fiber, helping stabilize blood sugar levels and improve digestion. Water. Stay well hydrated with water throughout the day. It's essential for overall health and helps control blood sugar levels. In conclusion, managing diabetes is not just about taking prescribed medication. It is about adopting a lifestyle that includes regular exercise and most importantly, a healthy diet. Being aware of the foods that can escalate your blood sugar levels or increase the risk of diabetes-related complications is the first step in this direction. Remember, small changes in your diet can have significant effects on your health. Here's a final thought to chew on. The goal isn't to deprive ourselves of the foods we love, but rather to find a balance between enjoying food and maintaining our health.